welcome back to my little channel now I have to admit I wasn't really thinking a lot about the topic I'm going to talk about now but it is something that people should be aware of what am I going to talk about well I'm going to talk about socialism ah but every example you will give us wasn't real socialism so why even bother you know what you're correct Everything that we've seen so far can be seen as fake socialism. Fair enough. I don't mind. We can keep that in mind. But the problem we have in the world when it comes to socialism is that there are roughly two kinds of people out there. People who want it to work despite anything and people who are like, you know what, it would be nice if it could work, but it never will. Now, those two groups will probably never see eye to eye, but only one of those two groups is actually correct. Now, don't get me wrong, the concept of socialism is a great idea, and it would be nice if it could actually work. But everyone out there that is in favor of socialism is forgetting one thing Marx said, and at the same time, they are propagating over it, for it, for it. Marx said, for socialism to work, there is no reason to assume slavery would be gone. He didn't say it like that. I'm paraphrasing. I'm sorry. I'm not going to look up the link for you right now. But Marx wasn't against slavery. According to him, slavery was a necessity. And a lot of modern socialists don't like to think of it like that. But slavery is a necessity in socialism. Why is slavery a necessity in modern socialism? Because you cannot have a socialistic state without it. No, that's rubbish. No, no, it, 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 it really cannot happen without forcing people. And this is why socialism in itself will always end up being authoritarian. Yeah, but people want to help each other. Yeah, 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 sure up until a certain point. Now, not too long ago, we had a talk about NIMBYs, not in my backyard. And every human is a NIMBY about something. It sounds simple, but uh, on average it's true. This is something that will always hinder socialism. There will be things certain people will not want to do. For example, well, you're sick, so you can go to the doctor. Ah, the doctor is free. Yeah, but the doctor needs his sandwich too. And he needs to be educated for at least eight years to become a doctor. So who's going to foot the bill for that? Well, society is. Okay, based on what? Are the teachers now going to teach the doctor for free? Yeah, no, don't worry. Um, society will pay. Okay, fair enough. Doctor society will pay for education. Teachers will be paid by society. Never mind how teachers got to be teachers, because obviously they had to learn it somewhere too. But let's ignore that for a moment. The books that they are taught out of. Yeah, but society will pay for the books. Yeah, but who's going to write them? Who's going to print them? See, at a certain point in time, society cannot pay for it. So someone has to do the job for free. And that, my friends, is slavery. Yeah, but you can, uh, you can do it voluntarily for free. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you, you could. But when we talk about how people do jobs whilst getting paid, even though it may be minimum wage, then people equate it with modern day slavery, which is ludicrous to say the least. But if working for a minimum wage voluntarily is modern day slavery, how is working for free not the same thing, even though it may be voluntary? And, and what, what if we need someone to do a job and it needs to be done voluntarily? But we don't have volunteers. Are we then going to commission volunteers? Well, obviously, we're not going to pay them because there is no money. But um, the volunteering for 
garbage collectors. That's going to be easy. And, and this is the one thing that socialism can't answer. They won't even try, don't get me wrong. And I can understand that they can't. I mean, I'm not blaming them. But this is what happens. Now, there's, I'm, I'm going to end this uh, clip with a, with a small piece of the text that I'm going to talk about now. And I'm going to do it in German because the original text is in German. But I will have the English text in a moment. Uh, basically, it goes down like this. Weil der Mensch ein Mensch ist, hat er Stiefel im Gesicht nicht gern. Er will unter sich kein Sklaven sehen und über sich kein Herrn. Because humans are humans, they don't like injustice, they don't like difference of station. So they don't want to see a boss above them or a slave below them. Now this is true. But at the same time, this is something that socialism cannot prevent. Socialism needs people to do jobs that no one wants to do, even the person doing them. This in itself is slavery. I look forward to anyone that can explain to me how socialism can do this without slavery. I really am. But um, I, I fear we won't get it. And this is why socialism always turns authoritarian. And always forces people to do what those people don't want to do. And just because he's human, he doesn't like a pistol to his head. He wants no servant under him and no boss overhead. So left to three, so left to three, to the work that we must do. March on in the workers' united front, for you are a woman. Those advocating for socialism never seem to contemplate what it means that work must be done. Not the work you choose to do, but you must do. Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism as always is more than welcome and uh, I hope to see you all next time.